Welcome to the first episode of Movie Dudes. I am your host, Jason Moore. And I am G Gizzles Gabe. I'm Hutch. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Completely unintentional. G Gizzles, right? <laughs> G Gizzles. You know, I like that. I'm All right. gonna say Gizzles. Guys, our first segment. Gizzards. Our first segment here is, uh, of course, new releases, and we are going to analyze MI4 Ghost Protocol. Guys, what do you think? Well, I think. That's going to have great action, all right? Okay. Some good explosions in there. It's done by Brad Bird, who's been doing animations off the charts, so it's his first live-action movie here. But isn't that iffy? Like, he's been doing animations for Disney, and he's doing his first action film. I mean, hey, it usually works out for the best. Okay. I mean, Name an example. Well, you got Spielberg, who's doing 10-10 now, and that's animated. Oh, he also did um, Indiana Jones, which was also animated. <laughs> shitty. Very good point. That's Spielberg true. can suck a fart out of my ass. Hey, okay. we do not talk negative about the Berg. Praise be to Spielberg. Come on. He did do Jaws, 1975, greatest movie ever made. Anyways. Anyway, <laughs> back to Ghost Protocol. Protocol here. <laughs> all right. You know what, guys? I mean, seriously, all right, look, look. look let's analyze this a little bit. First one was awesome. Okay, everybody agree? Yeah. First one, <laughs> Ding Rames, you know, came in. It, it was really good. It was yeah, really well classic. done. Okay, second one was okay. You know, they kind of veered off a little bit, but they kept kind of to the roots, and it was pretty good. Third, third one, they veered off quite a bit, okay? But bringing Philip Seymour Hoffman I in. I like the third one. No, I'm sorry. What? Bringing Philip Seymour Hoffman in was awesome. I mean, he was a great villain in the whole movie, and I really liked the third one with him in it. That's why I'm scared about the fourth one. I like the I, I like the fourth one. I think that they're going to go back to the roots. I hope that they bring in someone that's gonna that's gonna kind of fill the gap, and hopefully, you know, it, you know, it, they they realize their mistakes with the second and third, a little bit of mistakes, and they make a great movie. That's what I think. I honestly, uh, I I don't know. I, I personally think that this movie has a very good chance of being awesome. It's got everything that we need. It's got the comic relief from Simon Pegg, which, I mean, as a nerd, you have to love the guy. Absolutely. English, Scotty. funny, <laughs> and he's got a best friend who's a zombie playing video games in his shed. Um, uh, and yes, Scotty. Shaun of the Dead, by the way, if you guys didn't get that. Go ahead. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> um, but honestly, I think like the biggest drawbacks that we're going to see out of Ghost Prodigy or whatever the fuck it's called. Ghost Protocol. Protocol. Yes, that too. Uh, this movie, honestly, I mean, you're carrying on the coattails of a film franchise that, like, the first one is a classic by everybody's standards. Really decent flick. Um, the second one, I personally didn't much care for it. Um, it I, I just don't like John Woo's style, besides Face Off, because Travolta. Uh, Both. That'll be another episode, though. <laughs> so anyway, um, and the third one, I personally didn't care for at all. Like, I at least want some level of believability with my action see, movies. See, now, here, here's, this is where it comes in for me right here. All right, the first one, amazing movie, all right? Brian De Palma, of course. Great director. I great, really liked it. Great, great movie. The second one, John Woo style. Again, you know, I, I like the, the, the sappy little action stuff, you know. Yeah, he goes a little overboard with some of his little dub things, but well, he has well, the music to kind of back it up, which makes he, it kind of He cool. goes in the comedy. He does. He, he tries to... <laughs> he farted. <laughs> no, continue. He, he tries to bring comedy into it, though, right? Like, God, the Broncos, <laughs> was, right. the com was the comedy too much, or uh, was which you're one? too much? I don't, I don't <laughs> The comedy of which one? On the second one. I don't, you know, I didn't really find any comedy in that one too much for me. No, the second no. one had hardly any. I mean, yeah. besides Tom Cruise trying to act like an action star. Right, exactly. That was, that was, that's, that was that's, the funny that's part. That's definitely the funniest uh, part. The but one I believe <coughs> that's what I was talking about. I think about. One, one of the best things in the second one for me was the uh, building scene where he's like, I'll come back for you, and jumps. I thought that was awesome. You know, that's great style. The slow mo, the music. Right, you know, it's, yeah, okay. it was just great style, great, great filming. You know, and decent acting there. And the third one, you know, again, Philip Seymour Hoffman definitely was that movie. You know, the movie, I mean, other than Philip Seymour Hoffman, the movie was meh, but still entertaining because Philip Seymour Hoffman was a badass. You know what I really loved out of, uh, in particular, the second film was the scene when um, the main character 
is uh, in Puerto Rico and they have the large satellite dish, right? And then he finds his partner who they used to be best friends, who turns out Wrong to be movie. the bad guy. Wrong movie, by and, the way. Um, I know, I was just trying to trick you. <laughs> no, but, but I'll, I'll, have, I'll actually go off to you on that one. You, you know in the second movie when, when he changed the mask and you kind of knew it was going to happen. It was, it was pretty predictable. Okay, but he changed the mask, you know, and, and there was that whole slow-mo scene of him running out of the tunnel. You know, and, and he had changed the mask with uh, with the bad guy's henchman, you know, the main henchman or whatever. I thought that was really cool. And then the Good whole chase scene, Good you luck. know, the motorcycle Good scene luck. and all that kind of stuff. You know what? They ended it really well. The first one, they it was it was a big explosion on the helicopter with the gum and everything. It was kind of like, okay, that was kind of predictable. The second one was really cool with the whole, you know, with the motorcycle scene and everything. I really liked that. You know, and, and, and maybe it's a guilty pre- pleasure. Maybe I'm not, you know with you guys on that, but I really liked that. The third one didn't have a great ending on, on it, you know what I mean? It was kind of like, eh, okay, cool. If they make the fourth one and they kind of take pieces from the first, second, and third, right, and, and they build a good movie, I think it's going to be a really great movie. I really do. Well, for me, it's one thumbs. A total D. I'm going to give it a, a half a dude, honestly. Like, that's, that's kind of like a... You know what? I, um, I, I although although I will say that the one thing everybody has going for them was Affleck was the bomb in fans. <laughs> Affleck was the bomb in fans. Yes. like a motherfucker. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna follow up with that. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it one and a half dudes. I'm gonna give it one dude like that. Okay? So basically, we're I, all agreeing that it's kind of a. It's a toss up. It's a toss up. I think it's gonna be a better movie than you guys think, and we'll have to see how it goes. We should. You like Jason X. <clears throat> yeah. Dude. Go. God damn it, Junior! How many times I gotta tell you to keep that cigar in my face? I swear to God, it's like I'm playing with my brother's kids or something. Nerve wracking sons of bitches. I swear to God, you got something on your mind? Just wanted to let you know you're sitting in my chair. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. Well, for a man that don't go heels, you run your mouth kind of reckless, don't you? Don't gotta go heels to get a bulge in a tub like you. Is that a fact? That's a fact. Oh, I'm real scared. Damn right you're scared. Alright. Go ahead. Skin it. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Now listen here, mister. I'm getting ready. I'm tired of your gas. Now jerk that pistol and go to work. <laughs> You're gonna do something or just stand there and bleed. <laughs> I'm gonna stand there and bleed. <laughs> All right, welcome back, and we are on our next segment here. We're gonna do a DVD release for you guys. We are gonna do Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Caesar! <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I liked the movie. I thought it was. Uh, it was a lot better than what I originally thought it was gonna be. Cause I was thinking when it, when they first uh, announced it and everything, I'm just like, ah. Uh. Here we go, beating a dead horse again. <laughs> you, you, know what, you know what? I gotta totally agree with you guys. Like, I, I, uh, I actually went back after I heard. Uh, actually, Hutch, you told me about the whole Rise of the Planet of the Apes. You were like, they're making a new Rise of the Planet of the Apes, or they're making a new Planet of the Apes. And I was like, really? And I kind of went back and I watched Planet of the Apes, and I watched Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, and I watched Escape from the Planet of the Apes. I'm sorry. And I, <laughs> yeah, I you watched have a lot all. Of time the, on your hands. I, no, I did. No, I did though. And I watched all the Planet of the Apes, and you know, watch, watch the whole Charles and Heston, you know, and and uh, you know, and I was like, how can they? How can they make a good? Because it's all going to be CGI, right? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. all going to be CGI. How can they make a good Planet of the Apes in this era? You know what? I'll say this right now. I watched that movie. I sat here on the on the edge of my futon. Okay. I could not. No, I really couldn't. We can. Futon. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. No. Seriously. Seriously. I love this movie. I love this movie. It was two dudes for me. Yeah, honestly, I thought the film was phenomenal. And it, I mean, you can ask these two fuckers. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely hate every movie lately that Hollywood has come up with, except for Star Trek. Um. Because it's the shit nerd. Yeah, you're not um, getting a high five from me. Anyway. Transformers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, you George Lucas sucker. Um, anyway, <laughs> no, honestly, dudes, like um, my my personal opinion on uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes was that the film like managed to take the ideas of the original series, mm-hmm. right, 
But they took them to the next level. They not only made it a believable style of film, which, uh, I mean, granted, the only, and this is kind of a spoiler, so skip ahead five or ten seconds, but anyway. If you don't want to get spoiled. Yeah. Right now. Spoiler! Yeah. Right now. Um, anyway, so, uh, for me, like, the biggest thing that was a little bit of a shock was um, you have Caesar, who spends the entire movie not talking at all. And right. And, like, within the last half hour-ish, he says his first words of, right. uh... What was it? No. no. And right. then, at the very right. end, he's able to talk to the main character, James Franco. I am home. But, um, yeah. No, no. Caesar is home. Yeah, Caesar Not is only home. can the monkey talk, he has an English accent. That was my only fault with the film. But honestly, otherwise, they've already got themselves set up oh, for hold on, an awesome Hold on a sequel. second. Hold on a second. That was your only fault with the film? English they accent English for a accent? monkey? Accent? He, he was on, raised no, I in have San to, Francisco. Okay. I have to ask you, though. Five seconds of the film that ruined it for you? No, no, I didn't say it ruined it for okay. me. Okay, I'm just saying that it like it certainly made me question because clearly, if the film is truly based in San Francisco, the monkey wouldn't have an English accent and it would have gone, Caesar is home. Fair enough, actually. Fair enough. <laughs> Rice a roni, a San Francisco treat. <laughs> yeah. So everybody's opinions? Uh, two dudes. Two dudes. Totally. Two dudes, man. I yep. love that film. Yep. yep. Fantastic. All right. All right, guys. The uh, game is five card draw. Does everybody remember five card draw? Yeah. Yeah. No. Nope. All right. Good. Josh, you deal. All right. Jo Josh, Josh, what are you doing? All right. Dealing. No, no, no. It's poker. You deal to the left. Always deal to the left. I'll get it right the next time. <laughs> okay. Hit me. Tofu. Tofu, it's not blackjack, all right? It's poker. You don't you don't hit in, in poker, okay? That's only blackjack. Oh. All right. I'm going to throw in some purples. Okay, hold on. No, hold on. Back there. All right. Josh, Josh, you have three pairs. You can't have no, you, three pairs. You, in no, six, you told no, me. No, you can't have six cards in a five-card game. Fine because it's, you can have it's, one, two, three, I've four, five. You three cannot have six pairs. pairs. Gentlemen, That's two, gentlemen, four. gentlemen, all reds. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. I'm gonna buy me a new car with this money. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Tucker, let's do this. All right, guys, our final segment is, of course, the famous segment, Classic Corner. Yes. All right. We're what we're going to do school. here is we're going to review a classic film that probably you guys have seen. We have definitely seen. Um, and every every episode, we're going to pick a, pick a film. And being that it's Christmas right now, we have decided to pick Scrooge. Scrooge. And if you haven't seen this movie, go outside and beat yourself over the head with the bat. Right yeah, now. If you, you haven't seen it. this movie, don't watch this episode, actually. <laughs> it's actually you, such a dramatic film that Gabe had to point at the camera right. for five seconds. Actually, and, and what I want to add, if, if you haven't seen this movie, turn this off right now and go kill yourself because you're not a movie fan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bill Murray. Hutch. Yes. Hutch. Yeah. Dude, Mr. Yeah. Murray. Come on. It's Bill Murray. The only thing that has disappointed me out of that man's career Garfield? was... Uh, no. Well, no. <laughs> no. Garfield? Wait, yes. That's, that's not a movie. That's, that's <laughs> okay. just... Uh, that that's was... a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, no, no. That movie... Agreed. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Hey, we never agree. Um, no. I mean... Hear me out. Did you guys see the trailer for that flick that he did with Megan Fox with the angel wings and uh, Mickey Rourke is in it? This film, seriously, was voted like one of the worst movies of last year. Oh, I heard about before. this. Yeah, I, about I, this. I can't even remember I the name of the piece I've of heard about shit. this. I can't remember piece what it was. Shit. Bill Murray will turn down Ghostbusters 3, but instead do a piece of shit with uh, Megan Fox. So, anyway... Back to the subject at hand. Yes. I honestly, Scrooge is one of the best Christmas movies one ever of the made greatest. on Earth. Yes. You know Especially what? with you Bobcat Goathwit in there. I was just <laughs> And you know what? You Sit know what? down! <laughs> you know what? Let me just say something. You can retail Charles Dickens' classic tale of a Christmas carol any way you want. Who hasn't but, done that? But you know what? You, you know? cannot do it the way Bill Murray does. And this movie is amazing it really is. It, it's it, it it does everything it's got comedy it's got drama it's got you know horror it, horror, horror. Yeah, right? some yeah, good, yeah some good right. scary moments in that one you know i mean it it, it cuts it's got a teeth. love story for god's sake yeah it, yes. it, it cuts you know? teeth in, in the way in the dickens story that you know all these other 
uh, versions don't do. You know, they get really adult oriented. They get really into it. You know, what I mean, and they just take it to a whole new level here, where all the other ones are still here. Right. Yes. Yeah. Especially, I mean, like I, I thought that one of the greatest disappointments of the Christmas Carol movie adaptation was Patrick Stewart's version. I mean, you've got Captain Picard in a Charles Dickens story. Completely hang our heads in shame. You know what? I like the Muppets. <laughs> I love the, the Muppets. Muppets. Christmas Carol yes. Ben the Stewart. Muppets one okay. was yeah. a good one. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I like I it. Agree. Michael Caine. Come My, on. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. Yes. Better yes. than than Patrick Stewart's version. But you know what? You cannot beat Bill Murray Scrooge. I mean, you really can't. Actually, you could beat Bill Murray Scrooge. Oh. Only with one actor. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Bill Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> the <Yes>. Shitner. The <laughs> Shitner. Oh my god. <laughs> Two Trekkies and a Star Wars nerd. That's what we're changing our name to. Anyway. 